Yo, I just had the craziest fucking thought. I'm just walking down the street in the middle of the night talking to myself. Dude, I don't know if y'all seen the other video I posted or if you, I hope you did. I don't remember which video it was either. But I was talking about, I was walking through this like kind of wilderness area, right? Or this, there's like a lot of dirt and sand. It's kind of like an under, on a, um, by the underpasses, by the Salinas River, right? And I was like, I don't know why. I, could, I feel like this was like, in prehistoric times, it was like hella water here and hella like giant sea creatures like megalodons and shit like that, right? And like whatever the fuck, those giant ass whales and giant ass sharks. I was like, I don't know. And like, and mind you, I have schizoaffective disorder from uh, doing LSD when I was like first homeless in Berkeley. But I'll be seeing, I'll be like, this shit be real and shit, right? So I was like, I'll be walking around that bitch and it'd be scary, especially at night. That shit be hella scary because I hallucinate. I'll be seeing motherfucking giant whales swimming and shit. I don't know why that shit be so scary to me. That shit's scary as fuck. And just the fact, nigga, I'm underwater right now, nigga. But I must be a merman or something like Soaring uh, when he went to uh, Atlantica. But, um... Oh, and by the way, uh, let me make this clear. <laughs> when I talk about uh, Sheree Friesen, LaShun, when... No, nah, because I don't want people trying to use my mental disability as a excuse to say, oh, he probably just misheard that nigga or... No, no, listen, because don't forget, when I asked Sean, I was like, bro, that was hella weird. Why'd you say you was going to kill Paige, Paige and Takiana that time? He said, because some things are inexcusable. So that uh, that's a confession. That means... You felt like you was really going. You you was really planning to do that shit, and you felt you was justified. That's a confession. To say, oh, some things are inexcusable, right? I don't need to go into these. No, I'm so used. To, I be so. I be I be forgetting like my gang ain't slow. I don't gotta be hella repetitive and shit like that. I'm so used to talking about talking to people, trying to explain shit to people like uh. Like that nigga I told you about, I used to be friends with named Rob. He he always be hella stupid and I was trying to argue. And he the type of nigga he'll disagree with you even if you agree with him. I don't like dumb niggas like that. I can't stand a dumb motherfucker like that. That ain't about shit, just want to argue all day. I can't stand, he one of them type of dumb motherfuckers. That nigga Alex be like that too. I'm curious, if they made a YouTube channel and was talking shit about me, what would they have to say? Like that dude, uh, Shadi, that wanted to fight me that one time. Just because I wouldn't say hi to him. If he was to get on YouTube and and try to say anything about me, what would he say, I wonder? Would he even have anything to say? That nigga barely even knew me. I was like, dude, I didn't even know you like a whole month, bro. And I don't even know you like that. You just kind of know some people that I know. We was never like... I was like, why is this nigga so angry and hostile? Because I didn't... You didn't even know me for hella years like that to be taking that shit hella personal. Like me, I'm the type of person, if somebody didn't say hi to me... And, I, and even still, I wouldn't handle it that way. I might just be like, oh, is something wrong, bro? You don't say hi to no more. And Because the dude said that to me, and I was like, oh, it's nothing personal, dude. I just, I've been going through hella shit. I'm trying to get a job. I'm hella hungry out here. Nigga, da 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 And he's like, he's like, oh, well, no, you don't say hi to me no more. You want me to come over there? And I, I was sitting there, uh, you see Berkeley charging my phone. It's like, no, you don't say hi to me anymore. You want me to come over there and knock you out? I was like, no, I want to charge my phone. That's what I came over here for. It's like, well, you don't say hi to me. I was like, I ain't come over here to say hi to you. I came over here to charge my phone. I was getting ready to skin that bitch ass nigga right there on that fucking campus. Hey, shoddy, bitch nigga, faggot, you fat. What the fuck are you anyway? Ooh, wait till I defund the police and get back to my hood. I'm up. Hey, what a coincidence. Wasn't I just talking about some pizza? No, oh, because I'm sick of bitch ass niggas and beat. And I know what that shit about. I know y'all was planning to kill all them females over there. And you know, I, was going, I wasn't going to join you bitch ass niggas. And that's why y'all always hostile as fuck. Because y'all always trying to scare me into joining y'all. That's why y'all be having bitch ass niggas uh, chasing me with screwdrivers and shit. And the motherfucking, that security guard in L.A. talking about, get your, get out of here, nigga. Nah, nah, nah. At, uh, little Tokyo, how the fuck your bitch ass get a job, faggot? How that retarded ass nigga get a job? I'm about to start. Yo, boys, deep. Well, let's get to subtracting.